Uh, my name is Mike Witt. Um, this is the first mission trip of, of any kind that I've been on. My first time in Ukraine, my first time traveling to anywhere near that region of the world. The future is unknown And I can't see the plan You call my name I hear your voice I'm saying yes. When we arrived in, in Drabiv, of course we came in on a van and all of us together and we pulled up to the church. Of course I knew nothing about where we were, you know, what the church looked like when we got there. And uh, we pull up to this building and there's, there's 40 people standing there with huge smiles on their faces. And it almost brought a tear to your eye right away because they're, they're so welcoming and so excited for us to be here. The day camp experience, we started on uh, Sunday night just with kids coming and signing up and I didn't know really what to expect. And I was assigned uh, six-year-olds and 11-year-olds um, for, for my group. That night I was given a sign that said 11 year old so I held that sign up and all these kids came running over and, and just immediately we made a connection and that was that was unusual for me. I mean, I'm from America, I'm from 4,000 miles away and, and these kids are coming over and so excited to see me and, and we're just happy and just so excited to be there and it was, you know, that first night I'm going home going, wow, that was, that was cool, you know, um, that we had this connection already. Wednesday night we had kind of a big group meeting, um, it was just phenomenal, Yura did an awesome job, but he opened it up to the whole community uh, of people there to talk. And, and we could have all talked, we all had stories to tell, but I, I just stood back and said we want them to talk. And, and two or three of the folks stood up and just awesome, and Peter well, was I think the last guy to talk, and this is a guy who came to camp to play the games and was very uh, competitive and you know he, he was we I'd call him a bad boy um, but he was a leader of a group and he stood up and said wow what a difference this week has made in his life and, and that's real eye-opening to me that hey we are making a difference here and, and we took a guy that I think was about 20 years old and and made a difference in his life why should I go on a mission trip why why sh why should I make that commitment to time away from home and family? And I, and I would say, because you'll come back a changed person. I came back with the thought, I can't get these people out of my mind.